In this job, we're going to be showing the barcode indexing capabilities of Capture Pro software using the green VAT forms that are in the Capture Pro software uh, demo document set. To start, I'm going to click on the New Batch button. And then from the drop down list, I'm going to select Color VAT Forms. Now you'll notice that after I create the batch, the screen layout automatically changes to what has been set up for this job. And this is one of the key features of Capture Pro software that you can adjust the screen layouts for what makes sense for a particular job. All the, the screen layouts are saved not only at the job level but also the end user level. So if a user has a certain preference, like they want the thumbnail viewer up top and the image viewer down below, they could actually do that. So I'm going to load my VAT forms uh, into my scanner and click on the green start button here. You'll notice a couple things here. In this demo we're creating on the fly during scanning when we're doing barcode indexing. We're also doing a document separation for every barcode that it sees. And we're also showing the results of the barcode indexing on the fly during scanning as well. One of the key features of Capture Pro software is everything is done on the fly during scanning, document separation, indexing, etc. And not only can I view the image quality on the fly during scanning of my scanned images, but I can also see the results of my indexing if I'm doing indexing on the fly or doing automatic indexing such as barcode indexing. For this particular job, you'll notice that I have one index field that I purposely left out not being filled in. And you'll notice that there's an exclamation point here on this due date field that indicates that there's an indexing problem here. But I've configured this job to not prompt me to enter that index data during scanning. But instead, I'm, I'm going to fix this as a post-scanning activity. In Capture Pro software, I can configure the jobs to either prompt for indexing issues and problems during scanning or I can wait until scanning is all completed and I can do that as a post scanning operation. Now the other thing you'll notice here is the end result is we have color images for every single document that, that's been scanned. What really happened is in this page setup called VAT Color Barcode, we configured the scanner to scan in dual stream, simultaneous color and black and white. And Capture Pro software was smart enough to use the black and white images from the scanner to do fast and accurate and reliable barcode reading. But then we also configured the page setup to discard those black and white images after we have done that processing. So the end result is I only have color images displayed because that's what's needed and, and only required in my downstream imaging system. So what I'm going to do now is click on the very first image of the thumbnail viewer and what's going to happen post scanning is it'll automatically throw me into indexing mode because I have a field here, the due date field, that needs attention. It's a required field and I need to enter in that index data. Notice that when in indexing mode we have a different screen layout here. Layouts of the screen can be different for on the fly during scanning as opposed to indexing. Now the other thing you'll see here is while I'm on the due date field, I have something created called a zoom zone. What I did here in setting up this job is when I'm navigate to a particular field, I can zoom in and change the image display to zoom in on a particular portion of the document. And this assists in doing the manual indexing uh, corrections and things like that that are needed. So if I press the tab key and I tab to different index fields, you'll see that the image display changes to a particular zoom zone that I have set up. So what's happened here is uh, on the fly during scanning, I captured a index field called a registration number, which was part of my barcode. I've also captured a field called period, which is the month and year. Now, the entire barcode was actually all of this data starting with 055 and ending in 07. The barcode indexing capabilities of Capture Pro software are such that I can parse barcodes that may contain more than one piece of metadata into separate index fields. And that's what happened here. I was able to parse out the registration number that begins with 166, and I was also able to parse out the period data which is the last four characters of this barcode. The receipt date index field just happened to be a default uh, system date. And now when I again navigate back to the due date field, I'm now zoomed in to this particular field. 
to satisfy the indexing of this, I can either key the, the data in, so I can do 300407, and then when I hit the Enter key, the software will automatically navigate to the next document that needs indexing. So I'm going to press the Enter key now. And you'll see that it now automatically navigates me to document number two, and I can continue to key data enter that indexing information. The other feature we have, however, in Capture Pro software is something called drag and drop OCR to facilitate entering in index data. So I can click on this OCR button, and in lieu of key data entering that data, I can use my mouse and draw a box by left clicking and holding the mouse around the particular data of interest and then release the mouse and it's going to OCR that data. And this is very useful if you're entering in data like names or addresses that require a lot of key data entry. For a field like this where I'm just entering in numbers, it's really up to the user whether they want to do drag and drop OCR or just key that information in from the keypad on, on the PC. When I hit the enter key I will navigate to the next document, I can continue to do drag and drop OCR and complete the indexing of this batch. One thing to note is that if I go to the index menu and I click on that, there is lots of uh, different options and hotkeys when I'm in indexing mode. And one of them is something called define enter key behavior. So when I hit the enter key, I can perform a particular function. I can either just navigate to the next document and I might want to do that if I'm just wanted to to validate the index data. I, I don't expect to do any key data entry but I'm just validating that all of the, of the data is correct. I can go to next invalid which will take me to the next field that needs indexing correction or entry and that's what I've set up for this particular job or I can just define the enter key to just save and exit indexing, meaning I'm done with this document, I want to go back to my main screen. So this is to let you know and or to note that for this particular job I've defined the enter key to be next invalid. So when I hit the enter key it automatically takes me to the next invalid index field, which could be on the same document or a different document. In this case I've moved uh, to document number four and I continue the indexing process for my batch until I'm done. So you can see how very effective and efficient the combination of automatic barcode indexing as well as the ability to do things like drag and drop OCR to complete manual indexing. So after I'm done indexing, I'm then going to show you some basic output capabilities of Capture Pro software. We'll discuss more sophisticated output capabilities in other demos. So I'm going to click on the output button here and in Capture Pro software all of the output is done in the background so I can continue scanning new batches while the output is being performed from the previous batch that I've just scanned. For this particular job the output is going to go to a directory called C colon batches pro. The way I've defined this output is I've defined it to create a subfolder based on the batch name so in this case my batch name was VAT018. If I go into that folder, I configured it to create a PDF file with the prefix of VAT- dash, and then I used some of the metadata that I captured during barcode indexing, in this case the registration number on my VAT form, as part of the name of the PDF file. And if I open up this in the Acrobat Viewer, you'll see that we have the VAT form for that particular document and it is the uh, two-page form front and back. Now the other piece of data that was um, output as part of this batch output was an index file, an XML file that contained, uh, that, that, that is a batch index file that contained the statistics and information about that batch. So if I open up this XML file, you'll see we have some very useful information there that can be used by service bureaus to, you know, record st statistics and uh, for, uh, you know, uh, for, for all of the batches that, that they've scanned in that day. So we have information such as the batch name, the batch location, when it was created, what scan station and user ID created this. We have the uh, the user ID is called operator, the output date time, and we have other statistics such as the, the document count, 
how many color images were scanned, how many images were deleted, uh, etc. So lots of useful information in this batch index file that was uh, output in an XML format. We could also output a batch statistics like this in a text delimited format or a CSV file format, etc. So that's it for this barcode indexing demo.